Welcome back to Commentary. I am Ari and we are checking out the demo for Hard Cage today. This is a game currently on Kickstarter until the 15th of October. So if you want to support it, please check it out. The link is in the description. This is an Otome game meeting mystery and all the love interests are Yanderas. So if you don't know what that means, please look it up. <laughs> So this is not for the faint of heart, I guess. Um, this is not healthy romances. This is just for fun and because it's October. Again, please check the game out on Kickstarter if you're interested. And we're gonna jump in where we left off. That's true. What a young, young day. <laughs> what the hell am I cooking up here? Uh, what a long day. I didn't expect to help catch a kidnapper on the first day here. It really was a thrill. When I patted my, uh, patted my pockets, I found something that didn't belong to me. Oh? It's the handkerchief and card that the man in the white robe dropped this morning. It's still early. I should call and ask him about it. The phone rang for a long time, but nobody answered. Just as I was about to give up, somebody, uh, someone picked up. Who is it? Oh, hi. Um, my name is Ari, the person who bumped into you this morning. Hmm. Ah! You, uh, how do you know my phone number? Uh, oh, sorry, because you dropped your business card and handkerchief. Um, I wanted to give them back to you. Uh, why would, uh, when would be convenient for you? I can come to find you. Drop it. Huh? But... Click. Call ended. Uh, what the heck? Oh my god, she looks creepier than those guys. What the hell? <clears throat> What's wrong with him? He doesn't have to be so rude. <laughs> Enoch's on the other side. Oh, we see his side. Yes, yes. What's wrong with her? She doesn't have to call in so suddenly. The man hung up the phone angrily. The table in front of him was covered in unknown drugs. I mean, he's a chemist, so... Damn it! None of these tranquilizers work! Why? Wait, so he is taking the drugs? Wait, is he still obsessed with her scent and he's trying to calm himself down with drugs? He looked down. The throbbing bolt was still there. No, my guy, that's not health! <laughs> Dude, you have a problem. <laughs> he, oh my god, they didn't even do anything. He just smelled her and she touched his arm for a second. And he's still erect hours later. <sighs> yeah, I mean... <laughs> okay, okay, okay. The voice of that woman reminded him of that scent. This was the first time Enoch met someone who smelled so sweet. That's very mildly put. Usually all people smelled nauseating to Enoch's. What he smelled changed with his emotions, but it was always unpleasant. Okay, that's a weird condition. <laughs> I'm sorry. Ah, <laughs> oh, okay. <sighs> What's that woman today? Your future ice cone. Uh, these pants are too tight. <laughs> Damn it! Never experienced something like this in my life. Okay. Such humiliation. Hmm. <laughs> because you can keep it in your pants. That woman. <gasps> I must kill her. <gasps> oh my God! That that escalated quickly, dude. Don't you think her corpse will smell the same though? <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> okay. Scene over. I'm gonna... <laughs> I opened the commission's documents. Uh, commi uh, com okay. I opened the commission documents to have a closer look, although I had already read it several times. Oh. Okay. I'm not sure if, like, the 
thing is important. Uh, the the thing the <sighs> we Germans love to do that. Just say things to like say thing to things. Um, as like basically a placeholder um, for words. Um, the order of uh, picking a choice here. I don't know if that's important. I'm just gonna go top to bottom, I guess. Commission content. Please head to Usoda town and investigate the strange events that have happened in the area. So far there's nothing. The investigation period will be for a month, months, uh, which may be extended depending on the situation. An additional commission fee will be paid. Okay, so maybe this is a trap and somebody who just wanted to lure me here, like our barista, I think Dane or something was his name? Something with D. Um, or it could also be the perpetrator himself, or I, I have no idea. I have no idea who got us off here. And that's all. It's so suspicious that normally we don't even read it. Um, I did encounter some strange people and a kidnapper today, but I wouldn't say this town is strange. Well, except for that investigator named Luke. It's obvious that he's not an ordinary investigator, and what he said is intriguing. I'm not sure if he's the sassy one in all of these people right now. Like, honestly, the, the, the most sus one is her um, employer. Uh, slash stepfather or something. Could he be here for something special? Commission fee. Wait, that's a lot of zeros. I'm confused. With the dots and the, co uh, and the commas in uh, English. I assume this is... Wait, this is 5 million? But... I, gu I guess maybe they made they put in one zero too many, so five hundred thousand or something. The most eye-catching part of the entire commission document is this terrifying amount. If it weren't paid already, I would def it would definitely sound like a scam. This amount alone is enough for the detective agency to operate for years. With that said, what kind of investigation requires this amount of money? Why couldn't they provide more details when they're willing to pay that much? Yeah, so our client has to have a lot of money. Clark's response is also strange. He wouldn't accept such mysterious commission normally, even though he loves money, which tells me that he knows the client probably very well. And I mean, I'm not sure if that makes sense, but it could be the barista. Listen, hear me out. Yes, barista, baristas don't have much money. But how about, like, he's also a landowner, like, he's our landlord, so the whole building belongs to him, and he could just do this, like, as a side hustle, or, like, as a hobby, because he's, like, I don't know, some trust fund baby, uh, wait, trust, trust fund? Is this trust? Like, you know what I mean, a trust baby. Um, it had lo has lots of, that lots of money, he likes animals, so he makes, he, he just builds a cat cafe, and he works here, and then he wants to meet me again because apparently he knows the MC and uh, yeah so he makes up an excuse to lure our main character here I mean in my mind that makes sense I'm not sure if it's true but like that's my first guess um, anyway Clark's response is also strange he wouldn't accept such mysterious commission normally even though he loves money could he have been threatened Signature of the client. The space for a signature didn't contain a full name, only the letter V. Wait, W in English. As written in ballpoint pen. W. Is it some kind of code or title? It may even be an organization, rather than an individual. For now, the only thing I can do is pay special attention to people and things starting with the letter W. Well, I guess that's it. <sighs> I feel like I'm walking through a fog. And why hasn't Clark returned my calls? He's read my messages, but he never replied. Maybe that's also part of the contract, I don't know. It's normal for him to disappear for a time, but this is my first time on such a long business trip. How can he be so heartless? Stupid old man. How can he say that he treats me like a daughter? I turn around and look at the photo on the table. 
It was a photo of Clark and me on my first work day. Wait, I just remembered. Clark is also like a bonus route, which is really weird since they have a father-daughter relationship. Back in those days, I was still a rookie who knew nothing except how to argue with my supervisor all the time. But to be honest, if Clark hadn't taken me in, I never would have become a de detective. If that hadn't happened... When I was little, my family got involved in a serial murder case. Little Ari suddenly became alone in this world. At that time, Clark was assisting the police with the investigation. He took me in and provided me with education while training me to be a detective. The, murder, uh, the murderer died at the scene, but I still vividly remember what happened back then. <sighs> I'm thinking about it again. When will I ever be able to get over it? So maybe that's why we suppressed our memories and we don't remember our friend Barista Dan? The murderer is already dead. The case was so solved. I'm an experienced detective now. I really shouldn't be this weak. I should do some research about the town today and start investigating tomorrow. Oh my god! Oh, I was actually so spooked right now. <laughs> the glass behind me suddenly shattered with a loud bang. Man, the CG, <laughs> the CG nearly spooked me more than the, the sound. Huh? The sound was so loud and close to me that it nearly pierced my eardrums. I turned around and saw something had broken one of the uh, room's windows. But what? Strange things really do happen in this town. I immediately saw a stone fall to the ground along with shards of glass from the broken window. Who would do such a thing? I picked up the stone and I noticed that it had some words carved into it. Calm down. The answers you seek are here. W. W? It was the same signature as the mysterious client. But how could it really could it be really the same person? It seems too convenient. In any case, this person knows why I'm here and the town's secrets. <coughs> I think, I don't know, and I think I'm the most suspicious of the detective right now. I, I know I had this whole story and uh, this whole uh, plan, or theory, theory, it's a theory. Uh, the whole theory about the barista, but like, he would never do something like this. I don't think so. He wants her to feel safe, right? Um, they could have chosen a nicer way to reach me though. How am I going to explain to Dane that my window is broken on the first way, uh, first day I moved in? Come down was written on the, uh, on the stone. Was the client waiting for me downstairs? Oh, this is not good. My detective intuition told me that it would be extremely dangerous to go downstairs. Exactly. Well, even an idiot would now it would know, would know it was dangerous. But I knew I shouldn't go. I knew it was dangerous and it might even be a trap. But my body was driven by an overwhelming impulse. What kind of detective would I be if I was afraid of such things? Yeah, but like maybe, like I don't know, arm yourself, tell somebody, I don't know. Besides, this is a rare opportunity to get uh, to the bottom of what's going on in this town. Oh no, this will not be good. I came to the alley below the window, but there was no one here, there. The night breeze gently blew at back at my face. I'm here. Show yourself. No one answered. Oh no, something's gonna pop up. I don't wanna. I hate creepy games. Listen, I don't want to play hide and seek with you. If you want to get things done quickly, come out and talk. So stupid. What was I expecting? Uh oh. Who's there? I walked towards the sound, uh, source of the sound, another nearby alley. Oh, it was pitch black. I turned on the flashlight on my phone. Oh, I don't want to click it anymore. Suddenly I could see someone laying motionless on the ground before me. I stepped closer, cautiously, 
The only sound I could hear was my own heartbeat and the silence. E e excuse me? I had a very bad feeling he's dead. Huh? Sure enough. The body lying on the ground was a corpse. An open cavity in his chest. Its heart had been completely ripped out. Let me guess, this is the same pattern as the serial killer that killed my family. Huh. My legs immediately trembled with shock. I had to steady myself against the nearby wall. I wouldn't be this panicked if it were just an ordinary corpse. But it can't be. It's the same as that time. Oh my god. No, the murderer had died there, there and then. But why? Could this be a copycat killing? But this is no mere imitation. The scene in front of me and my own memories flooded, uh, flooded my brain. I fell into an endless cycle of pain and fear. Damn it, I thought I was over my PTSD. No. I couldn't help but pant heavily and my heart throbbed and my head throbbed in pain. Just as I was about to pass out, the sound of footsteps from behind pulled me back to sanity. Who is it? The client? Or the murderer? The footsteps were getting closer and closer. Who no who says the client is not the murderer? No, if it is the murderer, I won't be able to fight back right now. If they have a weapon, I have no chance. I only have one choice. Run! Ooh! Yes! Alright, so we have a choice. Uh, take the main road, Enox. Ta uh, make a phone call, Luke. Return to the apartment, Dane. I mean, okay, let's think through this. Um, if the names were not written there, um, returning to the apartment is potentially not good. Because, like, this is a secluded place. Maybe she's even alone. If the murderer or whoever it is. Like, I'm, I'm not sure if it is even the murderer, right? But, like, if it would be. And she has the suspicion it is. Um, then he could just follow her in there and, like, do whatever with her. To her. Um, honestly, I think the client is probably the murderer. Um, I have no idea if he is the serial killer um, that killed her family. Um, or a copycat. Or, like... And I don't know. I don't want to say heir, but like, you know, a successor. Um, it would make sense though. Like, it has to be something personal. He wants her to relive this trauma. Um, so, who could it be, right? Um, anyway, so the apartment is stupid. Um, make a phone call. That's actually not a bad choice. Because then you have a witness on the phone that can potentially um, deter the predator um, you can tell them where you are you can get found faster and yeah so that's actually a smart choice take the main road also possible um, because um, yeah there's more people so more witnesses more people that could potentially help you um, Honestly, I'm not sure if this is like an empty choice, like whatever we do could just give us brony points, but in the end, the story is gonna progress like it just like it does, like we don't even get to take out our phone or go to the main road or even reach the apartment door, you know? Anyway, um, enough talking, I have to make a choice. I mean, I already have, I think I already got points with Dane. So, how about I call Luke? Luke was was the detective, right? So like, let's let's split this up evenly, cause like returning to the apartment is stupid. So I'm gonna make a phone call. My body was almost paralyzed with fear. I had to find a place to hide. Wait, hide? In a state of nervous breakdown, I tried my best to find a hiding place. I found a large wooden crate on the corner. Oh no, oh no, I don't like this. No. <sighs> the moment this, this lid lifts up, like I will lose my marbles. It's dark here. No one will see me if I cover myself with the cloth here. I can cross my fingers and hope that the person chasing me doesn't have good eyesight. No, 
her body is still trembling. I need a miracle. Oh no, I don't wanna. <laughs> I don't wanna play this game anymore. I took my phone. The first thing I saw was Luke's number. That investigator seems to know something. He should be the right one to call, and he's smarter than an ordinary police officer. I was going to send him a message, but my hand shook so badly that I couldn't even type a word. Damn it, stop shaking. Oh my god, that's <laughs> that's the flow of the message. However, my body didn't listen in that, so I had no choice but to simply send my coordinates. I hope he gets the meaning. I sat there with my with ants in my pants each <laughs> each second feeling like an eternity. Then I heard footstep footsteps again. This time it's him probably. Huh. No. Has the murderer found me? The footsteps were getting closer. Please don't. The lid over my head was lifted and a bright light flooded my vision. Little bunny? I mean, now I earned my nickname. I hid. <laughs> huh. M Mr. Luke. What are you doing here? Did you see the corpse? It's you, thank goodness. Anyway, come out first. He carried me out of the crate as if holding a small animal. He seemed to notice my condition and kept a hold of me. You know what? I was so excited when I received your message, thinking that you already missed me. What? Like, we had one interaction. What the hell? But I didn't expect the first message I received was the coordinates. Um... Yeah, I know. You found a dead body, right? I saw it when I came and immediately called for help. Don't be afraid. The police are already here and investigating the scene. Oh, he's so calming. What about the murderer? The murderer? I'm not sure, but someone was sa chasing me just now. Nope. We didn't see anyone suspicious around. Maybe you're suspicious. <laughs> no, it's okay. Uh, alright. You don't look alright. You were much more vivacious this morning. He gently brushed my face. No, I feel bad for Dane. He hoped that I would call him. I feel so cold. Poor bunny. He must have been really scared. But I feel so safe with Luke. It's probably a trap. He's probably the killer. <laughs> the person you mentioned didn't do anything to you, right? No. But the dead body on the ground. Hmm? It was the same as that time. The heart was ripped out. But the murderer had already. Little bunny? Why? Just why? I began to sniffle again, once I thought of the corpse. No. I don't want that kind of thing to happen again. Suddenly, Luke pulled me to himself and sealed my lips. Dude, that's too fast and, like, read the room. This is not what you do in this situation. He stuck his teasing tongue, in, uh, tongue into my lips and took my attention away. Huh? I mean, it's a pretty CG, not gonna lie. Can we see it? Nope. Mystery setting that. Hmm, no. I don't know how to do it. I'm sorry, guys. My once cold body had somehow regained its warmth. He kissed me with a poker face. I reciprocated without knowing. We kissed for a while. Then he finally released me. So. Did you calm down now? Do you always do this to peep to calm down people? Please take my apologies. That's the only way I can think of. If that doesn't work, I have another advanced option. Again, do you always do that to people? No, thank you. <laughs> it seems you have your sanity back. Well, what you saw earlier, leave that to me. It's too dangerous, even though you're a detective. But, what if he's connected to the incident in the past? What if he's the murderer? What should I do then? No way. I must track the real, uh, track the real cool, oh. I must track the real culprit down. I won't forgive him after doing such cruel things. And there's something I must ask him, in person. Why? What, what do you have to ask him? But you were so scared just now. Do you think you can do it? 
He said, uh, he just said, <laughs> he said this by wiping his tears away with his hand. Another error, guys, fix this. I get over it. I'm sure to catch him next time. I don't want to live like this for the rest of my life. Hmm. Yeah, I like your ambitions. <laughs> I didn't expect Little Bunny to have such determination. Yeah, I like how they play uh, with each other. All right. Or play off each other. Wait for my good news then. We'll take that guy together, okay? Yeah, let's do that. Because... We're boss babes? It'd be fun to watch you crying while catching the murderer. <laughs> uh, what? I don't like you anymore. I, I won't cry anymore. <laughs> I'll take you home. You should take a good rest. Oh no, don't let Dane see you. Ah, shit. Digging sound. <clears throat> oh well, oh well. <laughs> For God's sake. Why the troubles keep coming? To be honest, I don't really enjoy doing these things. But since little Bunny came, <laughs> these things finally come with a meaning. Things are getting interesting. <gasps> How will this town end up being? He's getting rid of the body, but why? <laughs> Never thought you would choose me. Since you came knocking on the wolf's door yourself, I can't let you go easily, little bunny. Oh my god. Oh no, okay, okay, we get glimpses now of their true faces. Actually, I kind of want, should we, should we check out, um, Dane? <sighs> hmm. Maybe, maybe I'm gonna do more episodes, depending on like how much material we have, but maybe I'm gonna check out all their routes. I'm so, I'm so invested right now. Um, I stumbled back to the apartment and found Dane standing at the door with a serious face. You're back. And he knows I didn't call him, right? Oh, Dane? <clears throat> he knows. Are you waiting for me? Mm. I was worried about you. He stalked me. Didn't he? I heard glass shattering just now, so I rushed to check what happened. But then I found that you weren't here. Oh, did I hid? Did I hide from him? Oh, sorry. I should have told you first. Don't do that next time. Are you hurt? Let me check. Thank goodness. There's nothing I need to worry about, perhaps. But wait, then he would have seen the corpse. Hmm. I mean, maybe the murderer was gone, and he was checking up on me, because he was worried, and then I hid, and then the other game... I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> what do you mean? N nothing I'm just glad you're okay. Wait, what did he say? <sighs> Thank goodness. There's nothing I need to worry There's about, in... perhaps. Are you hurt? N nothing Okay. I'll fix the window in your room tomorrow. Fortunately, we have glass in the storage room. Huh? But... I'm your landlord. It's my job to fix it. <clears throat> okay. I'll help then. I can't, you, I can't let you do it all by yourself. It's fine. It's nothing. You may sleep at my place tonight. I have a spare room available. Hmm, suspicious. Did you want this to happen? I'm so sorry. I can't cause you trouble on the first day. Oh, I, I am causing you trouble on the first day. So she's taking up his offer. It's not your fault, silly head. He gently stroked my head, and the warmth of his hand brought me comfort. Oh, it's so nice. I just hope that next time, no matter what happens, you'll think of me first. Oh, yeah, okay. Okay. But not... Alright, you should go get some rest. But not what? The room is on the third floor. There's a private bathroom and toilet inside. Make yourself at home. I'll go and make some tea. Let's have it together later. Mm. Mm. I don't know, man. Dan had already prepared the room for me, and I caught a faint whiff of a comforting fragrance as I walked inside. Although he seems overly kind as me, uh, to me as my landlord, I'm still very grateful to him. <coughs> 
Maybe he's just being nice to everyone? I laid on the fluffy bed, feeling extremely tired. I drank the tea Dane brewed for me while thinking about what just had happened. What's going on in this town? What's that corpse? Was it just a coincidence? No, come on. Not a coincidence. Although I still haven't recovered from the shock, I couldn't stop thinking about it. No, maybe I should read the documents again. Huh? Wait. Why do I suddenly feel so tired? He mixed something into the tea. I had the suspicion. But... yeah. My vision became blurry. It's the tea. No. Maybe I'm just exhausted. Huh? I gradually fell into a deep sleep. Everything ha ha that had happened that day felt like a distant dream. But really, it was just the beginning. I was completely unaware that something was already happening in this town. I had no idea about the true intentions of the people approaching me. Most of all, I couldn't imagine that all of this had to do with... me. Is this the ending? No. Right? Excuse me, is anyone there? A woman was standing at the door of the Clark Detective Agency. She looked anxious, uh, anxio <laughs> anxious and kept ringing the doorbell. Wait, actually, this might be a good place to stop the episode, isn't it? Well, we're suddenly over here. As I was about to say, I kind of thought about ending the episode, but, um, yeah, um, just when I said that, I tapped out of the game window to check how long we've been recording, and the game crashed my PC. Yes, you heard that right, the game didn't crash itself, it crashed my PC, I had a blue screen. Um, I suspect it was maybe a runtime error um, from Rampi, but yeah, that's, that's definitely not good. Um, so yeah, that's the story about that. I still think um, it's a good point to end the episode here, and we're gonna continue playing in the next episode. Um, I hope you liked uh, what you saw, I'm probably gonna come back to this, because I really like the game. Um, I'm probably going to come back to this in two days to um, replay at least um, Dan's route. Uh, I don't know. Um, we still have to finish whatever we started right now. I'm not sure. I wouldn't say it's like... Uh, how is he called again? Um, the detective is what I mean. Uh, his route. I'm just going to follow it blindly and then we're going to replay some parts. And I guess uh, that's going to be two or three episodes. I don't know. You will see. Anyway, that's it from me for today. I hope you had fun and we'll see each other in another video. If you so choose and click on it. Until then, bye!